I just want to do a quick intro for you about what a dot product of two vectors is. So when we have two vectors, it turns out we can't actually multiply two vectors together, right? We can't just do vector A times vector B. That, that's nonsense. Vector A times vector B, we can't just multiply them. But we can find two types of products with vectors. We can find something called a dot product, and that's the notation for a dot product. And we can also find something called a cross product of two vectors. So I just want to intro to you, what is a dot product of two vectors? How do we calculate it? What is it? And what's its usefulness? And I'm going to demonstrate this to you with Mario Kart. So have a watch. Okay, this is just a short clip of me playing one of my favorite games from growing up, uh, Mario Kart for Nintendo 64. And I think once we get to a point in this little race I'm going to do here, there's a great application of dot product involving vectors that will hopefully help you understand what a dot product is and how we can calculate it. So let's watch me after I chose Yoshi. Let's, let's go through this first part of the race really quickly. I want to get to the speed boost part of the race. So I think I'm taking the corners pretty well for the most part. But then once I get to the speed boost section, so up at this ramp right here, there's a speed boost it's going to give me because I have to fly over a huge channel of water. So I need to make sure I have enough speed to get over the water and I also get this speed boost. It might multiply by, it might like double my speed or triple my speed. I, I don't know exactly what the multiplier ratio is, but it's going to increase my speed by some multiple. Um, so let's watch what happens as I get close to this ramp. Hopefully I can make it over the water. So my guy's going, I'm going probably slower than I have to. Oh, and I'm not going at a great angle, but right about here, you should see that, actually, let me back it up just a tiny bit here. That might, right there, that might be a better shot of it. So you notice I didn't actually get going straight on that ramp the way the speed boost is trying to take me. So let me just take a screenshot of this and let's look at how this applies to vectors and how the dot product can actually tell me what my, what my velocity as I'm trying to go over this channel is going to be. So here's the screen grab I got from that video. And what I've got here, so Yoshi in his Mario Kart, uh, his kart has a velocity that it's going, right? It has a speed and a direction to it. So let me represent that with a vector. Okay, so there's Yoshi's kart's velocity vector, and I've exaggerated the direction a little bit. I know not, that's not the exact direction he's going in, but about that. So I'm gonna call this vector K. Uh, for cart. So this vector represents the velocity the cart is going. And I don't know how fast I was going here, but I know I was going pretty slowly. Um, so I'll, let's, let's just estimate the magnitude of this is, let's say, 25 kilometers an hour. And let me fade out this image a little bit, just so you can see my writing a little bit better. So Yoshi's going 25 kilometers an hour in that direction. Now the speed boost, um, the way the game works, it doesn't actually, like the speed boost doesn't have a velocity itself. It's just a multiplier that multiplies your, your velocity by a certain value. So let's say it doubles your velocity. Now, it wants to double it in the direction of the ramp, in the direction that the arrows are pointing. So let me draw a boost vector. It's like a doubling vector. It's trying to double your velocity. So let me draw that vector. So I'll call this vector B. And like I said, this, this vector doesn't have a velocity. So this isn't going to be a simple vector addition type of question. This is a multiplier, right? So let's say it's intended on doubling your velocity. It doubles the velocity if we were going in the direction of the ramp. So I could say the magnitude of this is two because I didn't attack the ramp at the proper angle, because I'm not going in the same direction as the boost, I'm not going to get my velocity doubled. I'm not going to be going 50 kilometers an hour in that direction. That's not how it works in the game. Now, I am going to continue in this direction, but I'm not going to get the entire doubling that the boost vector is trying to do. So what proportion of that doubling am I going to get? And this is the key point of dot product. So 
when I multiply two vectors together, well, we can, I shouldn't say multiply, we can't multiply two vectors, but we can find something called a dot product of two vectors. With, and what that does is exactly what I'm trying to explain. It multiplies the proportion of this vector that is going in the direction of that vector times the magnitude of that vector. So I'll figure out what proportion of the doubling is going in this direction multiplied by the magnitude of that cart velocity vector. So let me show you how we figure out, well, what proportion of this vector is going in that direction. So we do something called getting the projection of a vector onto the other. And a projection, a projection is always at a 90 degree angle. So let me draw a let me drop a perpendicular from the tip of the boost vector down to the cart vector. So here's what that would look like. So I made that perpendicular. Let me just draw in a 90 degree angle just to show you it's perpendicular. So the proportion of this vector that's going in that direction would be a vector that starts at the tail of vector k and finishes with its tip at where that perpendicular touches vector k. So let me draw that in, I don't know, a slightly lighter shade of purple. And we'll call that the projection of vector b onto vector k. And I'll show you the notation for that. So I decided actually to make this vector green so it would stand out for you. But this green vector here, we would call this the projection of vector b onto vector k. So the notation for that looks like this, the projection, p-r-o-j, of vector b onto vector k. So there's a subscript vector k here. We read this as the projection of vector b onto vector k, and that's represented by this green vector. And hopefully you understand that we can draw this by dropping a perpendicular from the tip of vector b onto, onto vector k and then drawing the projection from the tail of vector k to where the, the perpendicular touches vector k. So this vector has a smaller magnitude than this vector, right? This is a right triangle here. The leg has to be shorter than the hypotenuse. But what is its magnitude? And that would tell me what proportion of the speed boost I'm going to get, and then multiply that speed boost by the 25 kilometers an hour I was originally going, and that gives me what we call the dot product of vector b and vector k. So let's do that. So if I want, so now I've told you it's called the dot product, so I need to do vector b dot vector k. That's equal to, well, it's equal to my original magnitude of vector k, so my original cart velocity multiplied by the proportion of the boost vector that's going in the direction of my cart. And I told you the notation for that is this projection notation. And we want the magnitude of that projection. So I'll use my absolute value symbols, the magnitude of the projection of vector b onto vector k. And this is a dot product formula. And then we can use SOHCAHTOA to replace the magnitude of this projection. Right, if we look at this triangle here, let me highlight it for you. If we look at this right triangle here, I can use SOHCAHTOA to come up with an expression for the magnitude of the green side. Now, I don't know what the angle is between the boost vector and the, and, and the direction I was actually going. I'll make up an angle for it in a second, but let's just call it theta for now. So I can replace this magnitude of the projection of b onto k. If I use some SOHCAHTOA, I can replace it with a, an equivalent expression. Now here's my angle. I want to rewrite this side length, and I know the hypotenuse. So if I do cosine, let's think, I'll do it off to the side here. Cosine of angle theta would equal the magnitude of that green side. So the magnitude of the projection of b onto k divided by the hypotenuse which is the magnitude of b. And I know the magnitude of b is 2. I'll switch that later. Um, but notice if I want to isolate this now, if I want to isolate that, I just multiply the magnitude of vector b over. So the magnitude of vector b times cos theta equals the magnitude of the projection of vector b onto vector k. So I can replace this here 
with with this, the magnitude of B cos theta. So over here in my formula, I can rewrite B dot K as the magnitude of K times the magnitude of B times cosine of the angle. And the angle is always the angle between the vectors when they're placed tail to tail. That's important. So this is the formula for the dot product. This will tell me what my, what my resulting velocity is going to be in the same direction that I was originally going in. So let's calculate that um, based on these numbers that I've made up, right? Magnitude of K, I said I was originally going 25 kilometers an hour. Magnitude of B, well, it was a speed boost of two, but I'm not gonna get that entire two. What proportion of it am I going to get? Well, I have to do that two times the cosine of the angle between them. That's what this tells me here. So two times cosine, and what does that angle look like? I don't know, maybe about 20 degrees. Maybe I was off by 20 degrees when I was approaching that ramp. And then we can calculate this, 25 times two cos 20. Well, let's do two times cos 20 because I'm just interested in um, what proportion of that doubling speed boost am I going to get? And when I do that, I got 1.88. So I got most of that doubling speed boost, but not all of it. So multiply that by my initial 25 kilometers an hour, and it's about 47 kilometers an hour. So it's about 47 kilometers an hour. So I didn't get the doubling going up to 50 kilometers an hour, but I got 47 kilometers an hour based on the dot product. So. I hope you realize how this is different than vector addition, why I couldn't just add these vectors, right? In Mario Kart, when we watch the end of this video, Yoshi's going to keep going in that same direction. His direction is not being changed, so this is not a vector addition question. I'm not adding, these I'm not adding this vector and this vector to get a resultant vector. My direction is still going in the direction of that original one. And I don't know the velocity of this boost, it's just a multiplier. So I need to find the product of these two vectors doing dot product. It does the proportion of the boost vector that's going in the direction of my cart, represented by this green vector, times the velocity of my original cart, which is represented by the blue vector. And I got 47 kilometers an hour. So let's watch the end of my uh, run here, and you can see if I make it over the water. Here he goes. Yeah, I made it over um, with plenty of room to spare. Um, but obviously I didn't land on the road because my angle was off by too much. Okay, I hope that was a nice application of dot product for you. Now that we've seen the Mario Kart demonstration and I've shown you how it works with the vector, the cart vector and the boost vector, let me just write the generalized formula for dot product for you. And this is dot product of geometric vectors. So the generalized formula, if we're doing, let's say, A dot B, this would equal the magnitude of vector A times the magnitude of vector B times cosine of the angle between them, where the angle is when the vectors are placed tail to tail. And that would give me the dot product of the two vectors. And that's what I have up here. B dot K equals the magnitude of the two vectors being multiplied times cosine of the angle between them. Okay, that's it. So stay tuned, I'll, I'll post more videos about dot products and cross product as well. And hopefully that helped you out.